reporting live from beautiful Northwest Florida, and that's Pensacola, Florida. If you do not know, welcome to my channel, Melly Mel Shaves. If you guys like wet shaving, men's fragrances, and giveaways, you might want to consider subscribing to my channel. And this episode, it is hashtag Family Week Part Two in the wet shaving community, and my beautiful wife and adorable daughter picked this. The Zingara man, the vegan soap, called the Gypsy. Anyway, I cannot wait. Stay tuned. shade with my all-time favorite double edge razor I call this the goat the greatest of all time in my opinion this is no other than the carbon CX 316 L with the R2 handle standard plate 0 0.68 gap and I love this razor as you see I'm pairing it out with my first first time use of the Gillette Ness is my favorite double edge blade. Comment below your favorite double edge blade. And as you see, this is my it is hashtag family week part two in the wet shaving community. And my wife and daughter picked this. And I'm glad they did because I love this scent. The gypsy it is pineapple. Cucumber and citrus, and that's what it is. It's a beautiful, bright scent, and I absolutely love it. Comment below your hashtag Family Week shave of the day, and also comment below if you like Zingara Man. I know I do. I know I do. Anyway, oh, I'm also using the Mojo brush that Gary Spurl made for me. And he also made one for my boy Nick Doe from Minnesota. This is the BBS.Live. He made it. Uh, okay, let me see if you can see it here. This is Mel, BBS.Live. Sorry, I got to say it. Every time I touch this brush, I got to say, Unleash your mojo. And if you guys, if you guys love brushes, if you love artists and brush makers, check out my boy, Gary Sproul on Etsy, Mojo Handcrafts, I believe. Anyway, Mojo Shaving Brushes. He is an artiste. And I'm so grateful he made this one for me and my boy, Nate. All right. Been a while since I used a double-edged razor. And as most of you know, follow me. Um, YouTube and follow me and my boy Nick Dog on Beavers That Live. Our favorite double edge razor is no other than the greatest of all time. 
the Carbon CX316L with the R2 handle. Hold on. All right. Just clearing the runways, as Jew Fatbo would say. All I gotta say is the aromatherapy in this room is lovely. Sex strength, scent strength on this. From zero to ten, with ten being the most potent, and zero none, seven and a half. Love it. Love it. Wow. This still. This performance great. This razor right here and the combo of the NASA blades. Love it. As most of you know, lately I've been really enjoying my straight razor shares on my face. So it's been a while since I used this, this uh, carbon. And man, no wonder this is still my favorite double edge razor. Comment below. What your favorite double edge razor is? Is it the carbon or is it something else? Love to know. I would love to hear you. All right, let me get that uh, second pass in me. Second pass. Still love that feedback. The feedback never gets old. It's music to my ears. Let me wash the face and I'm going to do my hashtag the dessert for those who are new to this channel I will let you know what the hashtag the dessert is stay tuned all right I am back now I'm going to do the hashtag the dessert these are the things that I do after a nice shave so what I do is uh, I start off with a cold water rinse to close the pores and after that I follow up with an ice cube rub to close the pores better and to soothe a freshly shaped face or dome. And hey, comment below if you do a high ice cream and just type in hashtag the ice cream rub. Not only does it help with your shave, 
it gives that oomph and it wakes you up. I know it wakes me up. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna dry off with the best wet shaving towel in the wet shaving community, the Lancaster towel. In my opinion, comment below if you agree. Next, I'm going to do the hashtag, the shake. This is the thing that I do right before I, I put on an aftershave splash. I got to give it that hashtag, the shake, so I can receive my good luck. And I want you guys to do the hashtag, the shake, too, so you can receive your good luck as well. All right. Man, Heather does a great job on these aftershave splashes. Mm, and they're non-alcoholic too as well. Wow, oh, man, that smells so good. Mm, I put some on my head too. Mm -hmm. One thing I hate about a great shake is the end. I'm done. I'm sad. However. I'm also happy because I look forward to my next shave. Guys and gals, if you watch this video right now, I want to thank you. It means the world that you like my videos, leave a positive comment, subscribe to my channel, and you hit that notification bell. Hit that notification bell so you know each and every video I upload. And if you are watching this video, you, yes, you are having a good day. Just make sure you make this good day into an amazing day. As always, until the next episode, keep shaving, keep smiling. One love over here in beautiful Northwest Florida. And that's Pensacola, Florida. If you do not know wet shaving community, I love you. Fragrance community, I love you. And I cannot wait to see you in the next episode. Later, YouTube.